Moore's Law has been very kind to electronics. It's also kind to test, where we have an opportunity to define new ways to do our tests, taking advantage of the incredible uh, pace that Moore's Law moves with. For National Instruments, this has been about what we call graphical system design, where we see a convergence of design and test, where the same kind of capabilities with products like LiveView, PXI, and Compact Rio can be used for both designing systems, implementing systems, and testing those systems. There are some key uh, challenges and opportunities we see with Moore's Law. First off, Moore's Law means devices are getting much more complex as time goes along. The opportunity is to use Moore's Law to create increasing ATE capability. Some of the challenges we see in traditional ATE systems, including lengthy test development time, uh, uh, poor test coverage, especially initially, where we may see poor early silicon yields because of poor uh, mismatch of coverage, and then increasing test times as devices move to protocol-aware approaches that aren't very amenable uh, to quick testing with traditional uh, test vector approaches. In some ways, we see uh, a return to system-level test as chips move to systems on a chip or system in a package, uh, back to where there's only a few uh, pins available for testing, very complex components, more built, uh, test is built into the device, and we need new approaches that really reflect this trend toward system-level test. Moore's Law provides an opportunity for us to make ever better instrumentation at a smaller size. The, the transistor has uh, decreased in size by a factor 2,000 since 1987 when VXI was introduced, and we would like to share that benefit with our customers through smaller uh, instrumentation devices with higher performance. We do that with our PXI systems and our compact real systems, which are considerably smaller at lower power than traditional systems. The key to this process is a software approach that allows long-term compatibility over many generations of hardware products so that we can fully reuse and leverage software development and, uh, te for tests that have been done and can be now reused as hardware follows Moore's Law. Moore's Law is also driving the IC abstraction to higher levels. Uh, with time, we've moved from uh, single transistors all the way up to a curve to systems on a chip and systems in a package, substantially more complex. But we have the opportunity to use a system-level uh, design platform uh, with this integration of design and test to deal with this increasing complexity uh, to improve performance and reduce test times. Moore's Law enables new options for tests with high-performance test technology uh, for doing cyber-physical tests, protocol-aware tests, uh, augmenting traditional test vectors, and uh, all the way to the debug stage on into the final production. This means faster verification and validation, better fault coverage, faster production tests, faster diagnosis of customer returns. Moore's Law is driving the performance of both CPUs. We now have multi-core CPUs that need multi-core programming environments, and most excitingly, FPGA technology that now can be programmed by tools such as LabVIEW to introduce a whole new way to do tests, including such advances as protocol-aware tests. We can combine uh, um, high-scale uh, processing such as GPUs with multi-core processing and uh, FPGAs to create very, very powerful test systems. PXI uh, leverages Moore's Law to offer ever more performance in a small pa uh, form factor utilizing FPGAs, uh, the latest data converters, P the PXI standard is supported by many different vendors uh, that provide a, a long array of o over a thousand different modules in a very industry standard platform. 
PXI has been rapidly growing with a significant adoption, especially in manufacturing tests and high volume applications. PXI offers some very high performance capabilities for timing and synchronization, uh, realizing performance capabilities similar to those of large scale ATE systems with uh, trigger buses, system reference clocks, star triggering, and special features such as uh, onboard clocks, in our case, T-clock, to provide very sophisticated timing and synchronization capability. This couples with uh, attendant software capability to support timing from the highest speed backplane timing to software-based timing, all in an integrated framework to create a very high-performance test framework for timing. When you co coordinate the ability to deal with time and uh, high-speed synchronization with the measurement capability offered by PXI and the many vendors that provide that technology, we can solve most major test uh, applications all the way up to high-frequency high RF testing. An example of use of PXI for high-performance tests uh, was in MEM, testing of MEMS microphones where we were able to achieve significant cost reduction, uh, significant power reduction, significant size reductions, and uh, overall throughput. So Moore's Law provides some real opportunity for increased accuracy of testing, faster measurements, more flexibility, and a smaller uh, footprint leading to a lower total cost of ownership.